In this video, using Betty, our diabetic foot uh, wound education model, we can see, again looking at the plant aspect, the ulcer uh, that's shown in one of the other videos, but back here on the heel, another very typical problem is of pressure damage. And the diabetic patient, of course, is vulnerable to damage because of neuropathy, um, not feeling or being aware of the development of uh, pressure damage, the early stages, um, means that these wounds can develop um, quite rapidly and also without the patient actually realising. And if your patient's being nursed in bed for whatever other reasons and there's pressure underneath the heel, then of course, like any other pressure ulcer, it's no different. It's going to develop if there's unrelieved pressure or if there are additional shear or frictional forces in that area. So we see a black eschar here covering the area of damage. And if I just remove the eschar, what's revealed beneath, very typical looking large ulcerated area with really quite a cavity in there, macerated edges, um, quite deep down, some bleeding in the base there um, and possibly even some bone uh, right in the base of the wound. So very difficult to manage in any patient, very quick to develop if pressure's unrelieved for whatever reason or if your patient's vulnerable because of poor nutrition, because of poor mobility or importantly for our diabetic patients because of decreased sensation and simply not being aware that pressure is sustained there and not getting the early warning signals that a healthier patient might have to say that it's time to move the limb and allow the blood flow to resume.